Hi, everybody. Hope you're doing well. I hope um, this is a new year and you are going through this year with a lot more differences that maybe you didn't want to do the previous years. And what I mean by that is um, I hope you have a new mindset to some of the things you may want to change. I've gotten a great question from Helen and her question was, what would you say to a person who has given up on people and in life? And I thought, huh. I sat back and I, I, I read it a couple of times and I thought about it. And you know, oftentimes I will meet people that really are cynical and they're depressed or they just are angry. I think it's more of the anger that they just decided that this is the way they're going to live their life. And basically, if there isn't any major, major depression, but this is just who they are, I kind of just say, well, you know, we have chances each and every day, not every year, but every day. And it's pretty much your choice and how you choose your disposition. Sometimes we feel like we don't have choices because of what's been given to us, and, and that could be. But at the same token, um, we always have choice in how we're going to handle things and how we're going to look at them. So basically, I always tell people, you have a choice to how you're going to react to it. And if you choose to be miserable, you're setting out those intentions and more misery will come upon you. I truly believe in those laws of attraction. Is it a cliche? No, it's truth. What you put out is what you're going to get. When you have the faith of belief that it's going to be better or it's going to get different and it's not going to stay the same. It will be different. Sometimes I tell people you may not know when and how long but you truly have to have the belief and all of a sudden it starts to take shape. You know many times things have happened that have been very hard for me and I mean quite hard. I'm not talking about not having enough money to do this and to do that. I'm talking real life changes. But you know, I never let it bitter me. That's the whole key. And I think that truly is what is teaching us. What are we going to do when this happens? And how are we going to solve the puzzle? What are we going to react to it? How are we going to be? And I think that truly is the mission here. And sometimes we lose sight of that. And I get it. We're human. We get exhausted. And it is exhausting. And some days, you know what? I remember there were days I couldn't wait the day to end so I can go to sleep. <laughs> Seriously, I couldn't wait to go to sleep because then I knew, you know what? The day ended. And that's the way I look at days that maybe aren't so great. And we have those some days. And yes, even me, very much so. Sometimes I am so tired I can't see straight. And I can't wait for it to end. But you know what? Tomorrow's a new day. It's the way I look at it. And we have another chance at how we're going to act. So, you know, the question was a good one because I'm sure, Helen, you have somebody in your life that maybe has chosen to give up and not care. I do feel bad for them, but again, it's a choice. And I truly believe we have choices. And it's all in how we're going to put them and how we're going to react to them. Do we help these people to a point, but the other person also has to do the work? It can't just be one side and you doing the work. You know, I always say, you give to the takers who give back. You don't give to the takers that run. So I am very much for helping people, but I do help people that help themselves. Now, if it's a medical condition and it's beyond their control, well, then maybe you can get them the help that they so need. Maybe pair them to the right doctor. If they still don't want to do it, your hands are tied. There's nothing more you can do. So maybe the life lesson is to learn your balance and your limits to stop. As much as it's painful, there may be, this is what you may be, that person may be, that difficult person was put in your life to teach you maybe when you have to stop. Did you ever think? So kind of switch it. So that is something that may be when, you know, you have to take a back seat sometimes and how you're going to react to that. Very powerful statement there, because think about it, shift it. It isn't what that other person not only is supposed to learn, but maybe how are you supposed to adjust to that difficult person, all right? 
I hope that this has enlightened you. Yes, it's a new year, um, 2019. Be open to it, people. Uh, a lot of people don't know what's going to come, uh, but try to think positive. There's a lot of things and a lot of uncertainties right now in our world, and I know, and we get tired of it. So I myself don't listen to the news. I try to stay away from it. And yes, my husband's the opposite way. He loves CNN and he loves the news morning, noon, and night. He could watch it all the time. I don't want to. <laughs> so if you're in the mood for the news and you need to know what the weather is, watch it. If you don't want to watch it past that, then don't. Simple, don't. And you know, you just gotta be ready for what you're ready for. But you can't live in fear and you can't live in dreading. Surround yourself with people that make you feel better, that lift you up. Stop complaining about your life and try to do something to improve it. Because the ones who constantly are complaining, they will find something to complain about every single day. You know, I said this to a client yesterday. It was very interesting. And she was telling me, blah, 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 blah. I can't stand this. I can't do that. And I know what I said to her. I said, here's what I want you to do. When you're feeling like you feel today, I want you to tape record yourself and I want you to speak into it. And I want you to just say what you said to me. I hate this. I can't stand this. I can't. And on another day, I want you to play it back and really listen to how negative you are. So think about somebody else who has to listen to you. She looked at me. I go, I'm really serious. It's a really good exercise to do. Sometimes we don't realize what we are becoming. So record yourself and then play it back. And then you're going to say, oh my God, is this me? Is this what I sound like? Is this what I'm telling people? It might give you a different analogy to who you are. Believe me, it will. It's a little food for thought. Try it. And then maybe it'll hit home enough for you maybe to want to change it. And if you need help, and if you're depressed, there's no shame in that too. There is plenty out there, and we have so many resources from doctors to books to therapists to whatever to help you. But there is a solution. But if you keep finding solutions not to help you, you will stay stuck. Again, it's your choice. So I hope that this has helped you. Um, it was a great question, Helen. I hope this has helped you as well. Tune in to YouTube, subscribe to it, subscribe to my Psychic Medium Susan Rowland page. You're gonna get a lot of that too. And you know, it just gives us all a different way to look at things. I hope this helped you. So I wish you all the best. Until next time, take care, bye-bye.